I originally wasn't going to do this, but then I remembered. I am a former RCW co 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 commissioner. So yeah, I got something to say about 20 years of RC friggin W. It has been an honor, it has been a privilege to be a fan of this great company for so long. I first found RCW in 2005. It was the very first independent wrestling show that I bought tickets to get into. I went to one for free by accident. <laughs> but it was the first show I ever like was just, I like learned about. It's when they brought in the Amazing Red to face Don Juan. One half of the Texas Treats. Chris Marvel was in the main event that show facing Kazushi, the great Kazushi Miyamoto for the RCW Championship. Uh... If it wasn't for RCW, I never would have found indie wrestling. If it wasn't for that, I never would have discovered Ring of Honor, TNA. Well, I, I, I knew of TNA because Amazing Red. That was, that was one I knew, I knew of. But I never would have discovered Ring of Honor. I never would have discovered all the wrestling in Texas that there was. And so basically, if RCW hadn't been around, who knows when I would have found so many other companies. And, and I've made lifelong friends because of RCW. I have made so many I've had so many memorable moments because of RCW I have uh, just seen s some people who are now considered some of the best in pro wrestling come through those doors uh, <laughs> and it has been a privilege it has been an honor and I cannot thank Brandon Oliver and his team and his family enough they have seen me through some tough times personally and I know They've been through tough times, and I hope I was able to be a blessing to them like they were a blessing to me. So to Brandon and to every single RCW roster member, past and present, thank you for making me a wrestling fan, uh, an even greater wrestling fan than I was. Because watching you guys made me appreciate even more this thing that I love. Thank you for the friends I've made along the way. Thank you for just being there through triumphs and tragedies great and small I've literally known Brandon Oliver since I was 17 years old so my entire adult life RCW has been a part of my life and I wouldn't have it any other way <laughs> try not to cry because it really is super emotional 20 years of RCW that's awesome sitting on my ranch thinking about 20 years of RCW. Wow, it's so amazing, guys. Man, that's, that's just awesome. I could tell you a story where I took the bar exam and a couple days later, we're doing a show with Hall of Famer Mick Foley. And that's not the only Hall of Famer RCW's brought to San Antonio. They brought on Sonny, they brought on Devon Dudley. They brought stars such as Cody Rhodes, Chavo Guerrero Jr., Shelly Martinez, Gorgeous George. Now you have Moose and Khan? Dude, guys, you've brought so much to the city of San Antonio. You've done so much. You've even helped produce other stars that have come through. Keith Lee, Sammy Guevara, Raquel Gonzalez, Ray Rowe. Like, you guys have hit the mark so many times and brought so much. What are the new stars that are going to be coming out today? Fans, you're watching RCW. Some of these guys that you're seeing, they're like Medina. They could go on to bigger and better things later on. This is a great atmosphere in San Antonio. No other company in the local area has lasted this long. Congratulations, Brandon, Jennifer, RCW. And thank you for letting me be part of your history.